For weeks, foul-smelling sargassum seaweed has been washing ashore across the Caribbean and Florida's Atlantic coast. These blooms are naturally occurring, but weren't seen in this region before 2011. Since then, the problem's grown worse, and while scientists are unsure what's behind it, many believe human activity is a factor. Two largest rivers feeding into the equatorial Atlantic are the Amazon and the Congo. And of course, there's been a huge amount of deforestation in those two watersheds. And of course, again, you cut down the forest, that's going to release a lot more of this, this nutrient pollution again. In Florida, toxic algae is adding to the state's environmental woes. This year's red tide is the worst in more than a decade. Marine life has been hit hard by the algae, which poisons fish and removes oxygen from the water. Florida businesses are suffering too. The numbers of people reporting respiratory problems has spiked, with officials warning the algae may be around for months. Yesterday, we were giving people little dabs of Vicks VapoRub to put in their nostrils so that the smell wasn't so bad. Florida is no stranger to these kind of ecological events, but scientists believe stricter environmental regulations would help. Undoubtedly, there's got to be uh, nutrient pollution coming from land generated by humans, primarily agriculture, but also uh, some sewage. The challenges of dealing with masses of seaweed and toxic algae are extracting a price in this region. It's now more than just an inconvenience and more of a long-term environmental problem that could have serious consequences. Scientists say if authorities don't deal with it now, it'll only get worse in years to come. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.